getting ready to leave Colorado Springs. It's early in the morning. But before we leave Colorado Springs, we got one more thing left to do. And that is, you probably can't see it from here, but we are gonna go up to the summit of Pikes Peak early this morning. I looked at the weather this morning and it said it was like 29 degrees on top of the summit. It said it was like 20, it feels like it's 24. So it's gonna be a little chilly. Uh, and this is July, so I assume it gets worse in different times of the uh, year on how cold it is. But uh, I do got long sleeves on, I got some pants on, got my hiking boots on, so hopefully I'll be okay. Uh, I don't know. I didn't expect really, I, I expected it to get cold, but I didn't expect it to get as cold as it says it is. And like I said, I feel like I'm prepared and if I'm not, I guess I'm just gonna freeze my ass off, I don't know. So we are on our way to get to the top of uh, Pikes Peak. We've not made it to the entrance yet, but we are on the road to get there. Hopefully it's not gonna be too busy. We did get sidetracked because we put in the GPS to go to Pikes Peak Park. Well, it takes you to like some, I don't know, some housing area <laughs> that's the opposite direction of Pikes Peak. But now, it appears, it appears because we at least got mountains this time, it appears that we are actually on the right track to get to Pikes Peak. Here's hoping, and here's hoping that because of that slight detour that we took for about 17 minutes, that it's not too busy because we wanted to get here when the gates first opened because we heard that it was actually not as packed. So here's hoping. Right behind me is the entrance to Pikes Peak. We're getting ready to drive up there and go up to the summit. Hopefully we don't pass out from elevation levels, but this is gonna look nice. The views right here and we're at the bottom are just amazing. So we'll see you on, along the way when we get up to stops and stuff like that. So I'll get back on here and I'll show you all everything but it's pretty cold up here. It's, it's like 50 some degrees right now. And we're at the very entrance here to the driving portion of Pikes Peak. So apparently right now we are at point six and currently they got us on hold because of the simple fact that I guess further up the peak they are like practicing for some kind of race they do on, on the peak which sounds pretty badass I'm not gonna lie so I guess we're gonna go up here we're gonna kill some time because we gotta wait about 45 minutes before we're allowed to continue up to the summit which is a, you know, quite a bit of a long time, but at least we beat the crowds for the most part. So we're still waiting to go up to the summit. I don't know if you can see up there, but clearly there's snow on all these peaks up here. And, and, and that's telling you something because it's June. It's mid-June right now when we're here. And there's snow up there on the peak. So make sure you are prepared because it's gonna be cold at the at the summit. So, and it doesn't matter what time you're coming. If you're coming in June, you're coming in July, you're talking about, I think it's 14,000 feet elevation. So yeah, it's gonna be cold and just mark it. So it doesn't matter what time of the year you're coming, you're gonna, you're gonna sense that, so. So I am still waiting on them to allow us to go up to the summit. I don't think this is normal. They said they got some kind of race going. But I found a trail over here that's close to the, that's close to it. 
I better not walk too far because I think they're gonna start at nine and it's almost nine here. So. It's just got a little walkway up through here. It tells basically what all the plants are and stuff like that. Thought we'd just kill some time waiting to go on to the summit. I just heard a siren. I didn't know if I was supposed to be here or not. <laughs> it looks like it looks like it's okay too. How good are you? Hey pup. <laughs> There's a pup. Better not go too far. Like I said, my car currently is in line to leave. That means if I'm not back in time, they're gonna leave us and then we'll be stuck in all the traffic. <clears throat> Says Douglas fir. I don't know anything about plants or anything. Says, you may see chipmunks or voles. The vole will actually look like a rat. I would assume it's part of the rat family. I don't know, but we better head back. I just wanted to get away and add some more to the video. It is beautiful out here. This, this trail is pretty easy. It's made to basically just see all the trees and stuff like that with a little information and stuff. Not bad. We do gotta watch out because they said there was a sign warning us about a Sasquatch. They said there's been numerous sightings here before. So, you know, I would really love to see the Sasquatch. Uh, that would be good for the channel and it'd be good for the viewers. We would love to capture a Sasquatch. So Sasquatch, if you are out here, show me so I can add you to the vlog. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and head back to the car and I will see you once they allow us to start heading up to the summit. Signing off for right now until, until, I don't know, I might find something else I see interesting or just wanna show you. So we will be back once we're on the road for the summit. This is absolutely amazing. Look at that view. I tell you what, if you're not terrified of heights, you might will be when you come up here on Pikes Peak. But me, I'm terrified of them anyway. So I'm like looking over the edge going, oh my God, I'm gonna die. So we are in the parking lot right now because they got a parking lot up here so you don't have to drive all the way up. And I guess they take like, take you up on like buses and stuff. I guess to save on room and stuff. So in the parking lot, thought I'd give a little view of the area up here. Ah, oh, you do sort of feel that breath taken from you when you're up here. Let it be known, it, it's freezing up here. I do got a lot of people walking around in shorts, I see. But they're cold. I decided to wear jeans. So, anyway, I guess we'll see you when we get on, we'll see you when we get on the tram, or bus, whatever they call it. The last time I was on a school bus, I was like 10. Okay. I'm really glad John made it this morning. I'm going to start with an apology. I'm really sorry that I'm not much of a tour guide. He's telling us a few things about on the path. He 
said something about a gold mine. I'm trying to be quiet so I'm not interrupting everybody else's tour. So we finally arrived at the top of the summit on the bus ride and we are getting off the bus. We have finally made it on the summit. You know, honestly, I was expecting it to feel colder. Unless I was already prepared for this. So. I'm getting ready to take you over there to the lookout. So I guess we will head over this way, go check out the overlook. You know, there was little patches of snow, but it wasn't like it wasn't like covered or anything up here. So, and I guess it's it feels like it's warmed up. You do feel a little bit out of breath, but honestly, it's not that bad, man. It's not that bad. It's... Oh man, this view, guys. This view. You guys have got to see this. Wait until we get over here. This. This right here is mind blowing. Mind blowing. So we are at the highest point in Pikes Peak. The highest point, I believe, in the Rocky Mountains, totally. It's like you're on top of the world up here. It's insanity. They said you can see, I, I believe it's like five different states. I'm gonna give you a better visual. Actually, they said if you go over here, right here is like a little shelter thing. They said they sell like donuts. Apparently, they have to do them in a certain way because of the elevation. Something to do with the science and the way that, you know, I guess that dough and stuff rises. They can't do it the same way. So they do it a special technique. And the bus driver was actually telling us that you have to eat them up here because when you come down, the change in elevation actually sort of like just turns them either into mush or makes them hard as a brick. So we almost might need to check that out. I don't know. But we'll check around and see what else we can find up here. I'm telling you, you guys have got to experience this one time in your life. This, this is absolutely gorgeous. And it's actually, it looks almost like, it's almost like a three, six, uh, 360 degree scene, scenery, all the way around the peak. So yeah, it's not that bad. Of course, I guess right over here, when we go into this building, we'll be able to get a little warmed up possibly. But you know, it's cold, but I'm telling you, I, I'm very warm blooded, so I don't really get cold very fast. So. To me, it's not really that bad. So we may go into the building and see what's up there. And of course, we're gonna walk around looking at the other point of views. Oh, right down here. I don't know if you can see it. There's water down there. 
Look at all the water down there. There's something insanely beautiful when you see mountains going around the water. That is one of the things I wanted to see when coming to Colorado. So we are here at the Pikes, uh, Pikes Peak. Oh my God, maybe I'm getting ready to pass out from the lack of oxygen. I don't know because I'm stumbling. No, I always stumble on my words half the time. But anyway, we are here in their little cafe shop that they got here and we are gonna try their donuts and see how good they are. They said they done them in a different way. So let's see how they are. High elevation donut. To get everybody on board, I sure appreciate it. The 1040 train is now boring. Anyway, I was sadly interrupted, but like I was saying, so we're gonna try the high elevation donuts. I guess that's what I'm gonna call them. Sort of looks like a cinnamon sugar donut. To me, it's gonna look, it looks a little dry, so we'll see. Food review on high elevation donuts on Pike's Peak. It wasn't dry. These are pretty fire, actually. You know, it's weird. While eating it, my mouth, my mouth feels weird on the draw. I would assume. It might have something to do with the, clearly it's something to do with the elevation. I was gonna say, maybe it has something to do with the gravity, I don't know. Like, I hate to talk with my mouth full, but, like maybe the gravity is pulling my face down as I go to eat this. <laughs> okay, maybe it's not, I don't know. But these donuts are fire, man. Mmm. It is a cinnamon and sugar donut. Um, tastes amazing. That's a dang good donut, man. I would eat a whole thing of these. Mmm. So that's it. High speak. High of. Oh my god. High elevation donuts. They're awesome worth getting in line to get it. Sometimes the line dies off, which it did for us. But very good. All right, see you on the peak. So we are back out and let me tell you, if you come up here to Pikes Peak, make sure you check out the donuts because they were incredible. But if you look over here, these are actually cog trains, they call them. And it takes you from the bottom down there to the top of the summit straight up no driving no nothing you just get on there and ride the train i think for 68 dollars is what it said i believe we didn't take it we took the car but for 68 dollars per person you can ride on those and you get to choose your seat i think for less than that you got to set wherever they had you set and the reason we we chose not to you know the reason we chose not that go up here on the cog trains is because at $68 we st my party was still not going to be able to sit next to each other so <laughs> we kind of was like man that that doesn't really work for us but take a look at this beautiful epic view you have to come to Pikes Peak see down there the railway the cog train this is magnificent so Pikes Peak sets at about 14,000 that's like 14,000 feet elevation which is about half of what Mount Everest is in Nepal so if you imagine how bad how insane Nepal is I think they said uh, they had a sign in there and it said like 
you're at about 60% oxygen level here at Pikes Peak when you're at the summit. And at the summit in Nepal, they said you're about 33%. So you can imagine why people have a lot of problems, especially passing out from elevation sickness and stuff like that. But up here, it's a little breathtaking, but so far I haven't had any problems. But I do believe when I was doing my little donut review, that I accidentally had someone who was actually passed out behind me and I didn't even know it. And they were, whether well, they wasn't passed out, but they was having real bad problems and the medical staff was actually tending to them. So if you've seen that, I didn't know and I wouldn't have filmed that, but you know, it is what it is. And I, it, it just goes to show you the real dangers that can happen when you're up at this high of elevation. So anyway, we're going to walk around. We're going to see a little bit more of the peak. All right. So we're over here at another lookout view. Let's see. Let's see what's it say. An altitude adjustment. Colorado peaks. We're on the rise. Oh my God. A little taller, huh? All right. So if you can see, you probably can't see out there. Man, I felt a little drunk that time. Getting a little woozy. Man, look at this view. You probably can't see it, but out there, look at all those mountains out there. Absolutely covered with snow. And this is June. <laughs> so beware. <clears throat> Just a little tad bit of information. I don't know for sure, but I think that might be the power line that is going all the way up here to actually power all that over there. That's kind of cool. This view is absolutely phenomenal. I'm totally into this place. All right. So I think that wraps up this awesome day at the top of Pikes Peak. I, I I gotta say this is this is one of those times it's like a you know we didn't trade it or nothing, but still this is like a once in a lifetime opportunity for many people. And I would definitely hopefully that wind is not ruining my audio, but I, mean, I would definitely recommend anybody coming out here and trying this and just admiring the world because this is this is freaking insane guys and i don't care how old or young you are you're gonna enjoy this and i really felt my toes are starting to tingle right now so i'm about ready to end the video but uh so i would recommend everybody coming out here and trying pike's peak like I said, you can use the cog drain or you could use, you could drive up here and you can also park down midway and they'll take a bus up here. But anyway, I'm here I am signing off at the summit of Pikes Peak and I will see you in the next one. So I'm over here at this little section. Once again, I'm terrified of heights. So <clears throat> looking at this lookout point and I notice Look at that. You can see through the crack. Absolutely terrified to walk much farther. We're going to attempt it. Oh my god, you can see through that too. Woo! Well, at least you can't see through the crack at the last one. Ah, absolutely not terrified right now. Whew. This. Okay, that's as much as I'm getting close to that. That is terrifying to me.